Hey, what's up? It's Dustin back with another quick CSS tip for you. Ever set up a UI with some cards that had text content and quickly realized how hard it was to keep a clean and consistent UI when each card had different lengths of text? Trying to size everything just right to make the cards look consistent is most of the time next to impossible, but I want to show you how we can hide text past a certain amount of lines automatically so that our UI can look more consistent. While this is all done with CSS, I will write this in SCSS so that I can show you a fun way to do this with mixins when we're finished. In our styles, we will need to make sure we are targeting the direct tag for our text, not its parent tag or container. And the first property we'll give is a display of WebKit box. This is not something you'll see very often, but what this does is it packs its contents in the direction of its layout. And this effect is only visible if there's some extra space in the container. Next, we'll add a property for our text overflow and we'll set it to ellipsis. And this will give the three dots that you see at the end of our text. And then we'll add an overflow of hidden so that it hides our overflowed content. And then next, we'll set the WebKit box orient to vertical. And last but most important part is the WebKit line clamp. This property takes a numerical value, and this value is how many lines that you would like visible in your text content. So I have WebKit line clamp set to three. And if I hit save, you will notice in the browser that. All of our text content is now constrained to three lines of text, and the overflow is set with an ellipsis. And that's all there is to it. It's actually pretty simple to do, and I can make it even simpler by creating a mixin for this. So I can type in at mixin, we'll call this text overflow, and we'll give it a lines argument. We'll give it the content property, and then we will paste in all of the properties that we set in earlier for our card description. And for WebKit line clamp, we will set in our lines argument. We can delete all of those styles from our card description and instead write at include text overflow, and we'll give it three, and we'll notice that nothing changes in the browser. So we can set it to two, and then we'll have two lines. You can play around with these values and find out what works best for you. Make sure you use this feature only when it's necessary. You definitely don't want to hide important text to the user. That being said, with just a little bit of JavaScript, you can toggle this feature on and off with something like a read more button. Be sure to let us know if that's something that you'd like to see. Also, make sure to check out the teacher's notes or description of this video for links to content on SCSS if that's something that you'd like to learn. Until next time, have fun and happy coding.